Linda Woodruff has tried, and I emphasize tried, to show you the wonders of Sweden. Tonight, she has reached our capital, Stockholm. Nu ska vi få se Linda i Stockholm. Hello, this is Linda Woodruff, and I am the spokesperson for the European Broadcasting Union, the EBU. Last year, the Eurovision Song Contest was held in Azerbaijan. In a... In Baku, a sunny and exotic place. And this year, we're in Sweden. It's beautiful, but very cold. It might be a bit chilly, but the Swedish people are very warm at heart. Hello. Maybe they don't speak English. Oh. During this week, I've been asked to give you a tour of this lovely tree. And tonight, we're visiting the capital, Stockholm. Buildings here date all the way back to the 15th century. And for all you young viewers out there, that's very old. It's like all them little old ladies from Russia last year put together. Or like Engelbert Dinkelhump. <laughs> this is the royal castle, where the royal family lives. Agneta, Frida, Bjorn and Benny. But apparently they never come out together anymore. It's a shame. But down here in the Royal Armoury, tourists can get a unique glimpse of the costumes they used to wear. I think these are from the Voulez Vu video. Voulez Vu! Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. And these are, of course, the costumes they wore when they won the contest with Waterloo back in 1974. I'm surprised more gay Eurovision fans haven't found this place yet. Thank you to the amazing city of Stockholm. This is Linda Woodruff, and remember, the winner takes it all! Maybe you all have to wait.